Hello YouTube, Marcus Aurelius here, and it's time for a quick review of Holy Stone's Predator Drone. Alright, I guess what does it come with for starters? Um, comes with your transmitter, comes with uh, extra parts, uh, there's four extra propellers, there's some little screws and a tool in order to take the props off, I think that's what it's for. Um, little screwdriver, uh, USB charger, and one battery. And then it comes with an extra battery for free if it's got this special card uh, like the other Holy Stone products come with. Get it now. Share your awesome flying experiences by writing honest Amazon product review and then contact them and then you can get a free battery. Now, I've never tried that. That being said, I think that's the downside to this drone is that it does not come with two batteries. Um, um, this drone I bought last Christmas for my daughter. I think I paid around $45 for it, brand spanking new. Um, and I don't think that is too much to pay for it. Um, I have since purchased two others that I only paid between $25 and $30 for, which was a, which was a really great bargain. Um, but I've also seen them listed for as much as $77 to $100, which I think is kind of over the top. I mean, it's a, it's a fun drone, it's a cool drone, but it's not a $100 drone. Um, the flying time, I think, is only supposed to be like six minutes, but I just had my brand new one out, and it flew for probably every bit of close to ten. Uh, at least it felt like a very long time. Uh, you're not supposed to fly them till they're totally drained, which, to me, that was kind of a surprise to read about, because I had always been under the impression with tools and stuff that you would use the battery up and then and then charge it but with with drones they say that you should use them until they're about uh, till there's only about 20 percent of battery life left and then recharge them and that will increase the length of the battery life long term and you'll get more uses out of it another great thing about this drone is that you can fly this drone indoors or outside and when I initially flew this thing outdoors, I did not know that there were uh, other power levels. And so I was flying it at the lowest level, and it was impossible to control in the wind. Now, I was just out there today flying my new one, and using the higher power, I mean, even with a, a pretty good wind that we had out there, I was, it was easily controllable. I was able to fly it no problem. Because you have the ability to fly this drone inside, um, I think that that was one of the things that helped me build the skills to be able to fly outside. Um, when you're learning to fly inside, it helps build uh, your precision flying skills um, because you, you're dealing with such a reduced amount of space. Increase your... Uh, precision and ability to fly this thing and then when you get outside it's like oh my gosh this is a piece of cake um, and I also wanted to say that even when the lights are off on this thing when it begins to go into uh, low power like it it'll still it'll still flash it'll still blink so even if you have the lights off and you're flying it outside, you might be worried, oh, well, how will I know when it's going to run out of batteries? Well, the, the lights will start flashing when it starts to get low. And you probably have another minute, maybe even two minutes of flying time before, you know, it'll actually come down. You don't want it to be up in the air. You want it to be fairly close to the ground when it starts blinking. And in fact, uh, when it gets to that point, it's probably time to... to uh, turn it off and and let the battery cool before you recharge it um, and that's why it's good to have a second battery you either way you still want to let the drone cool down 
um, so that the motors cool down. You don't want to burn them out by s cycling one battery through after the next because um, this is not a brushless drone. I love this little drone. I think it's it's great fun. It's a good beginner drone. Uh, if you're someone who's had a lot of uh, video game experience, I think people that have uh, a lot of video game experience will be able to uh, master the hand-eye coordination that's required in order to fly this drone because it does not have altitude hold. And what altitude hold is, is it means that the drone will hover if you are not um, controlling it. It'll automatically hover in place at whatever altitude you leave it at. <clears throat> uh, if you do not have that kind of, uh, if you do not have that skill, um, I would recommend as a beginner drone getting something like the Holy Stone F181 that does have altitude hold um, and it, that's a good way to fly it's a good way to learn um, that's how I learned I learned to fly on a, on a drone with altitude hold um, but that being said my kids did not and uh, they were able to learn they, they were able to pick this up quite quickly um, but it does take a much higher degree of uh, hand-eye coordination in, uh, in able to control it. All right, some of the other things about it. Uh, it doesn't take very long to charge. I think it's about an hour. Um, I haven't actually timed it, but it's not a, a huge amount of time. One of the other things I like about it, it's got, it's got three different power levels. Now, I said this in my review for the F181 which is I don't understand the purpose of the lower power setting because what you lose is you lose the responsiveness of the drone when you lose the power you also lose a huge amount of the drones ability to respond quickly to the controls um, and it's very subdued in its actions. And when you're a beginner flyer, you need to have that control, I think, even more than someone who's an experienced flyer because um, you need to be able to avoid obstacles quickly. <laughs> you need, and you need the drone to be able to respond quickly to the, to the control. I would say that if you're a beginner, go straight to the second power level because that'll give you increased agility and you'll be able to avoid obstacles a whole lot better. Um, since I've been flying for a while, I just went straight to the third power level and uh, it's so much fun. Great, great little drone. Can't say enough good things about it. It's extremely um, durable and this little drone can take a beating. So if you're worried about your kids breaking it, uh, I mean, I don't know exactly what extremes you'd have to go to to break this thing. I dropped it from like 150 feet in the air uh, because I wasn't able to get it to recover quick enough and it hit the ground full force. <laughs> and it was in totally intact, no problems, went on flying it some more. Uh, didn't even have to um, reset the gyros or anything. So, great little drone, can take a beating, very durable. It also has one button tricks. And I just want to say this because people won't know if they don't read the manual. Um, the way that you accomplish the uh, one button tricks is by pushing this, the right side joystick, in and then hitting it in which direction you want it to go. And it'll flip in any one of those directions. So you just push it in, depress, depress the joystick down, and then, and then hit it in the direction you want it to flip. Um, and the way that you control the powers on this Holy Stone, which is what's different, makes this one different from the other Holy Stones that I have, their controllers have the power button right here on the left front side of the transmitter. But on this particular drone, it's just accomplished by pushing this one in, and you can hear it. 
you can hear it audibly click as it cycles through. Now, of course, this one does not have a display on it that shows you what power it's going to, um, but you can instantly recognize that you've got much better control over it when you're, when you're actually flying it in the different modes. It also has headless mode, which I cannot stand because it, because it has incessantly beeps the entire time you have it in headless mode. And what headless mode means is that it doesn't matter which direction the drone is facing, it, it will respond to you based on the direction that you're facing. All right. If it's not in headless mode, that means the front of the drone is which way it's facing. So it can be harder to fly like that. But like I said, I like flying it like that because I can't stand the incessant beeping that it makes when it's in headless mode. Another good feature on this is that it has a button that you can turn the lights off and on. Um, and I, I turn them off uh, just because I don't really need them during the daytime. I think it helps uh, elongate the battery or the flight time by turning those really high or bright LED lights off. So um, I go ahead and turn them off when I'm flying it in the daytime, although you might, you might feel like you need those lights if you're just starting because they're two different colors and they'll help you uh, figure out which, which way the drone is facing. So maybe when you're starting off with this, you'd, you'd wanna have the lights on. It also has a one button return which I've tried and I don't know, it's, it's not the greatest. Uh, you know, there's, there's a degree of, uh, of uh, error, I think, there. Um, but as far as uh, beginner drone, great, fun to fly, very durable, will take a beating. I highly recommend this drone. All right, if you like this and you found this helpful, please hit my like button and uh, subscribe and uh, hope this helps. Thanks. Have a great day.